Jonathan. Elaine, as we watch those the talks of the president, of course, having a phone call later today, we're also getting more development and more detail coming through on China's tech prowess. Uh, we saw the deep seek moment and more detail about exactly how much the training of the AI chips cost deep seek in their deep seek moment. Do tell us more. Yes, yeah, so uh, uh, the engineers uh, from DeepSeek published an article, a paper in the prestigious uh, peer review journal Nature, and they went into the science behind the R1 model, which was what galvanized uh, the AI boom in China with the DeepSeek moment, right? But the real headline is the one that was buried in the supplanting material where it came to light that they only uh, used uh, 294,000 US dollars to power the R1 model, and, and that is quite astonishing uh, if you compare it to what OpenAI used, a uh, hundred million dollars training the GBT for here. Uh, so they talked about how they found ways to bypass these costly barriers, including using reinforcement learning. So the engineers wrote that Rather than explicitly teaching the model how to solve a problem, we simply provide it with the right incentives and, and then it autonomously develops uh, advanced problem solving strategies. And they're also known to be using uh, the mixture of experts architecture to help them dramatically reduce a computational load uh, without sacrificing performance. So, I mean, this reasoning model we've seen, they have already challenged uh, the assumption that only the countries or companies with, with the most advanced or the fastest chips can dominate the AI race, but now they've really kind of quantified it, put a number on it with, with the low cost that they, they put out in the, in the paper. Yeah, less than $300,000, and it was using 512 NVIDIA H800 chips. Elaine, thank you very much for that. Elaine, you there. The AI fervor has